Ever since the first exile, the Jewish people have been crying for the return. Not only the return to the land, but also return with, uh, to, to their God. If they're separated from Zion, there was always a sense that they were a little bit further apart from God. There was always this uh, lamenting for the return to the land. There always the hope of next year in Jerusalem. And that theme has always been central in the diaspora and the, and the exile. So obviously the turning point in history was, uh, was the Holocaust. Somehow out of those ashes, we're sitting here today. And that's where the history and the modern, the contemporary, comes together, where it's forever engraved in our souls, in our spirits, this, uh, this, this relationship with, uh, with even the very first exile, and then, of course, with, with those uh, who perished. How deserted lies the city, once so full of people. Like a widow is she, she that was great among the nations. Bitterly, she weeps in the night, tears flow down her cheeks. For there is no one to comfort her. Exiled and rejected, she dwells among the nations. There she finds no resting place, and the roads to Zion mourn. Her enemies, they laugh at her, laugh at her destruction. Standing naked before them, she turns her face away. of remembrance, monuments witness to the violence suffered by the Jewish people. Yad Vashem is a place of reverence, an everlasting memorial to a nation's grief. People behave to this place a little bit like to the Wailing Wall. They are putting papers with wishes inside. They are putting stones on many uh, monuments here, like they are doing usually in a cemetery. 
in the Jewish cemetery, you know, in the Jewish cemetery we don't put flowers, we are putting stones on the graves. So they are doing the same here on the monument. So I think for, that for many people this place is very similar to the uh, Wailing Wall. After the war, a lot of immigrants came from Europe and most of them were survivors from the Holocaust and they had in their mind the wish of their relatives who perished in the Holocaust and they wanted a place here in Israel that they will be able to gather the spirits, if not the bodies, the spirits of these uh, uh, victims uh, to one place in the center of Israel, in the center of the Jewish land. In